Hello everyone, welcome to Quick Crafts with Miss Emily and the Harris Elmore and Genoa Libraries. In celebration of Earth Day today we're turning in some old plastic containers into some planters, um, specifically for my succulents. You could also use seeds or plant whatever else you have at your home. To get started with the craft today, you're going to need a couple of plastic containers, maybe one from your cabinet that you lost the lid to. You can also grab some stuff from your um, recycling bin. This is an old butter container as well as we have some water, Elmer's glue, you won't need that much, maybe about a cup, and then a container for mixing, a paintbrush, um, assorted paper, you could use tissue paper, you could use construction paper, you could use newspaper, or you could use old scrapbook paper. Then you'll also want a punch or an exacto knife as well as whatever you want to plant. So we have some seeds here, and we have some potting soil, and I'm going to replant some of our succulents um, that need more sun. So first things first, we have our plastic containers, and you want to make sure you wash the inside out really well so that there's no residue in it or food chunks. Um, and then you also are going to want to poke holes in the bottom. So if you can see the holes that I poked, I use this little poker. You could also use a, a smaller screwdriver or an X-Acto knife. And you might need to ask for some parents' help on this one. They don't have to be big holes, but you just want enough for drainage. If you don't have good drainage on plants, then what happens is the roots get moldy and the plants will die. And especially um, with what I'm doing today. To mix glue with water to make decoupage, you want three parts glue to one part water. This means if you want to make one cup of it, you want three quarters cups of glue and one quarter cup of water. I'm going to eyeball it a little bit today in my sour cream container. And you're going to mix it together. If it's too runny, um, then you can add more water or more glue. And if it's too thick, then you want to add more water. You want it to be about the consistency of maple syrup, which might seem a little bit runny, um, but the glue and the water will spread out to cover the whole container. So just like you would paint using paint, we're going to do the same thing with the glue. So you want to put the glue on first, and then you're going to alternate with your paper. Um, and you can put your paper wherever you'd like, but you want to cover the whole thing. So once you have a few pieces on, then you're going to go back over the container with some glue until you've covered your whole container. Now that I've covered my plastic container in paper, I'm going to do one more layer of decoupage over top and fold down any papers that might be sticking up. This will help it um, help the paper get a little bit stiffer and stick to the container a little bit better. And then you can dry it upside down. 
So now that our pots are dry and no longer um, gluey, we're going to go ahead and plant our seeds or our succulent plants. So I have my potting soil right here, and I'm just going to scoop, scoop some potting soil into, into my containers. So I filled the containers up, leaving just a little bit of space at the top so that I can plant my plants. Um, and you'll see that it, it did get a little bit messy, so if you want to do this part outside, if you're messy like I am, that might be a good idea. So now I'm just going to plant my little, my little succulent plants and stick them in the window. Um, if you put your seed in, make sure you know how deep you need to... Um, plant your seed and then you're going to want to water them as soon as you plant them, but not too much. So maybe with like a sprayer or a mister. Um, but for succulent plants, you don't need to water them after you have replanted them. So I'm just going to stick them in my window. Do this guy. And after I've planted my succulents, I'm going to go back and just add a little bit more dirt around the edges um, to fill in some of the roots and keep the plants in place. And there we have it. So you can see all, my plants are a little bit farther away. Um, so they have some room to grow with the sun. Thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you soon at the Harris Elmore and Genoa Libraries.